It is really my great honor to welcome you to the RUCN World Parks Congress 2014. I have traveled to many, many conferences all over the world, and Sydney is one of the great places to come for conference, especially because Sydney is a city that's surrounded by national parks, including one of the world's oldest national parks. And I got up into the Blue Mountains, walked a fantastic national pass trail, and was completely enchanted. The economic benefit of bringing the Congress here is over $35 million. But the longer term benefit is having all of this brain trust here to shape the future of the planet. So it's a win-win for everyone. The promise of Sydney gives us a slightly different opportunity now because we want some commitment. So we had heads of state, ministers, big organisations, and we were completely overwhelmed yesterday with commitments to Sydney. So there's a huge opportunity to take stock in a few years' time and say, why not come back but with a very specific focus on some of the big topics and say, right, Australia, you hosted this and you put some very powerful commitments on the line. Let's see how that's all going. This is a wonderful city in the world. It's just amazing. People are far more relaxed in the city. People are very cheerful, very welcoming. I felt great in this city. In Sydney, it has been amazing to discover the warmth and hospitality of your country, of your people. So it has been quite an elevating and wonderful experience. People are always blown away by how you can have such a modern cosmopolitan city, but with so much natural beauty. And for us at the World Parks Congress, what we needed was someone like Business Event Sydney, who do this every day and are so well organised to help us make this a successful event. So there was a sense in, in Sydney, repeated over and over again, that what we're doing in this one week and what we plan for the next 20 years will influence the next 2,000 years of world development processes. Thank you.